Within SCM Rush, you can perform competitor research really on any website that you would like. So I'm going to take the stadium reviews as the example. I'm going to show how you can use SCM Rush to find those keyword caps. So depending on the pricing plan that you have, you can put a competitor right here. So the AI is smart enough to know that these are my competitors because if you scroll down a bit, this competitive positioning map, this is SEM Rush's uh, data for the shared keywords that my site ranks for compared to other sites as well. So you can hover over to so ballparks of baseball, stadium parking guides, um, and then my site is uh, all the way down there. Um, and you can go to add competitor and I'm gonna choose stadium parking guides for this example, I'm gonna click compare. As this loads, now this is, there's a lot of data up here and for right now I'm only, I only care really about the shared keywords because I think that's where um, the most opportunity is and where you can get a visual of uh, where those gaps are. So if you scroll down a bit, you can click into this Venn diagram right in the middle because you wanna look at the shared keywords between um, uh, their website and then yours as well. So if you scroll down a bit, it says all keyword data is for, uh, or all keyword details for. So I have the stadium reviews and they have shared, missing, weak, strong, untapped, unique, and all keywords. So I'm gonna look at just shared because that's the easiest way to look at this. Now from a, a high level, this is not helpful because all the data is in a completely, you know, um, it's sorted by volume, which is not helpful right now because the term Fenway Park has searched 74,000 times according to SCM Rush, but both of us are nowhere near page one. So I'm gonna to have to do some filters. So if you go to position, uh, really what I care about is the competitor. And I'm just gonna say they rank in the top 10. Because if you rank in the top 10, that's where the traffic is coming from for their website. So again, I wanna keep it on shared. So any keywords that they rank for on page one of Google, um, so I have an idea of what I need to do. So for example, uh, Dodger Stadium Parking, they rank position one, I'm position 30. Dodgers Parking, they're number two, 47 and so on and so on. The reason why this is important is that you can get an idea of where those gaps might might live. So from a page one perspective, they might have a really good authority on the web. Um, and maybe I don't have a good shot to outrank them uh, necessarily. So what you can do is change competitors. I'm uh, sorry, change the position. I'm gonna do a range. So what I like to do is maybe look at 11 to uh, 14. So these are keywords on page two of Google typically. So they're not driving a lot of traffic to my competitor's website, which tells me there might be a gap opportunity for me to maybe improve my content, um, maybe add like some videos or, or more pictures or, or whatever to basically improve that rank. So I look at this and I say, okay, so maybe if I want to go after, and actually what you could do too is you could do another um, filter as well to not only look at your keywords that are on um, uh, as, as, as high as you can, because a, a keyword that's on position 100 compared to position 12 really is not gonna be much of an opportunity right here. So I'm gonna now filter the stadium reviews to look at any keywords that are kind of in striking distance. So here's one, when do uh, gates open chase fields? So there's only 30 searches a month, so maybe not the best opportunity. Let's go down to, how about, well, a lot of these questions are these, like what time do gates open? Um, and that's really, I guess, just an opportunity right there because they're on page two, I'm on page two. Maybe that's just a, a, a chance for me to kind of give it more specific information, say what time it, what time it opens, what time do you, the parking lots open, um, what you can bring into the stadium. Um, if the times open, if the gates open different, let's say for like a weekend game versus a weekday game, et cetera. So there's a lot of opportunity right there. So if you and your content team are trying to think of ways to sort of leapfrog your competition, try to look for those gaps in the page two rankings. Look at the shared keywords that you rank for along with what they rank for as well. And then maybe you can go back into your own existing content, do the search analysis that we went over in the previous video and find ways to expand your content on your side to um, rank a little bit better within Google and Bing.